Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but recently I shot this bulletproof vest with everything from a 22LR all the way up to a 454 Casul and a ton of stuff in between. I'll put in a couple quick shots from that video. But if you guys haven't seen that, go check that video out. But this vest literally stopped every single bullet from coming through. You can see there, all those holes there on the front. But when I come back over here, none of them came out the back. So what I wanted to do for this video was, if I can get this back together, cut this open and see what those bullets look like. Did they mushroom or what did they look like? I don't know. It's also worth saying that not only is this thing bulletproof, but it's also knife proof. And this one in particular is from Safe Vest and it really impressed me. But let's get to the uh, slice and open part. Now that we already messed up the integrity of this back, I'm not so sad to slice it up a little bit, but I just want to see what those bullets look like on the inside there. So cutting that, as I'm being careful not to slice my fingers, cutting that first layer open, here's what it looks like. It's another sheet of some kind of plastic. And then cut through that one sheet and there's like 20 some bullets in here I don't know how hard it is gonna be to find these bullets in here but should be able to find them and then once you get in here it's just a whole bunch of these I don't know what you want to call it sheets of this kind of fibrous material. Maybe I can pull them all out in one little swing. Yep. So, I did get that to come out. Are there any bullets in here? There absolutely are bullets in here, but right off the bat, just laying in the bottom of this thing, there's one bullet, there's another, here's another, here's another. Pretty cool. So, these four, Right here, we're actually in the bottom of that thing. We'll look at them here in a second. But somewhere in all of this stuff, we have caught some type of other bullets. And just the way that this is put together, I should be able to just peel this back one layer at a time. Until we find all these bullets so actually pretty cool take that layer off actually that's the back so yeah I'm gonna do it like this and we'll just start peeling this stuff back you can see there's already four or five sheets of this stuff no holes in it so pretty impressive that that stuff stopped the 454 Casul and looks like the bullets didn't even go halfway through it, so this stuff can stop stuff that's even more powerful than that. And we shot it with some 44 mag. Yeah, we're halfway through and haven't even got the bullets yet. We shot it with 45 ACP, 357 magnum. Yeah, that's pretty wild. See, we're already over halfway through and there's no holes in this, so it must stop those bullets pretty close to the front. Pretty impressive. I don't even know how many sheets we've already pulled back, maybe 30 or so. But, okay, I think we've gotten to our first hole there. You can see the black in the middle there. That the bullet is right there. Man, look at that. I think that might be a 454 Casul. Big round mushroomed out there. We'll set it on the table. 
But we shot this thing, I don't know, probably 20 times. So there's gotta be quite a few more rounds in here. But we're already almost through that whole thing and we've only gotten one bullet. That's pretty impressive. This thing stops the bullets right at the front. Pretty wild. I thought that some of those bullets would be pretty near the back since we shot it for what it's rated for, 44 Magnum and even some more hotter stuff. But this sucker stopped everything pretty much at the front, which is really impressive. So now we're getting to some rounds right here. So this is pretty cool guys. There's only one, two, three, four of these sheets and it stopped all those bullets. Like I said, there's probably 30 some through on the back side, but it only took four sheets to stop everything. And here, right here, there's a whole bunch of bullets. There's one that's crazy mushroomed out. That's the 45 ACP, I know for a fact. I'm gonna lay all these out here and then you guys, I'll pile them up. Another one, man, I'm just pulling bullets out of here like it's crazy. But, very, very impressive. It stopped all of these bullets within the first four sheets of this vest. Very, very impressive. And then this must be some 22LR, so. There's the very first sheet. It took one sheet to stop 22LR. So, let me line all these up side by side, and then I'll show you guys a close up here. Here are all the rounds that we shot. Everything on these bottom two rows was stopped within just four of these real small sheets here. You can see, here's all the stuff that we didn't even need. You can see there's a, probably 30 sheets there, but it only took these four to stop all these rounds, and it stopped this one and the fifth one. But we shot this thing with 22 LR. Not sure what that one is. That, I know for a fact, is 45 ACP. And then these may be, this is a 357 Magnum, I think, that one, and that one. And these, I believe, are the 44 Magnums that it stopped. Then we've got 380 ACP. Mm, some of these are 9 millimeter too. That one might have been the 9 millimeter, but that sucker right there is the 454 Casul big old round but this vest stopped all of this stuff right at the front of the vest could have held some stuff that's even more powerful thanks for checking out this video guys that was really cool i wanted to dig all those bullets out that vest is very very impressive hey let me know what you guys think check them out we still have the front of that vest that we may need to do some testing on let me know what you guys think we should do for the front but a big shout out to my friends at the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Pretty cool vest from Safe Vest. You guys go check them out. We'll see you on the next one. Hoodoo!